before Elijah showed up to the brook, God had already spoken to the ravens, those dirty birds. No offense if you're a Ravens fan. I'm speaking football now. I'm not trying to start a riot. Remember, I'm your pastor. I love you. I'm talking about the dirty birds here. Pastor throwing shade on my football team. There's a drought going on, and you don't know how it's going to pan out. But Elijah, little do you know, I am talking to the ravens behind the scenes. Now, the raven is a least likely source that God would use. It was considered a defiled bird. But my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. When it comes to trusting God, you can't always go by what you see. You can't always judge a book by its cover. All those amens are getting weak because you know why your amens are weak? Because you have it all figured out, right? God, this is the way I want this to come packaged to me. God, they have to be six foot nine and fine. But what if God had another plan? What if God has another way? What if God has another person in mind? What if God wants to use the person that is not of the same color as you or not of the same race or not of the same background as you? What if God has a a different plan? Come on, talk to me. What if he has a different plan? I'm pretty certain Elijah was not expecting a dirty bird to feed him. But if it came from God, if God said it, If God spoke it, if God ordered it, we are not to judge how God does things. However God wants to do it, we should say, Lord, let your will be done. Come on, somebody. 